talk about a degenerate 50 cent and his deviant followers and I don't care that he gave Mo a job he did it because she had clout around her and she's a great actress and a comedian he supported Eminem when he was dead wrong and said some racial things but I don't want to get into that this is about his son Marquise Jackson this male takes care of his biracial children. He is a deadbeat and $6,700 does not make you a father. Having a relationship with your child makes you a father and a healthy one at that. Regardless of adult issues in relationships with the parents, the children are to be protected. 50 Cent is no different than Dr. Dre and all the dusty ninjas that are absentee, emotionally unavailable males with insufficient funds. He failed his son and all the money in the world won't cover a disgusting POS like him. And to be honest, I understand the position that we're in and why we're in it because this deviant behavior is beyond me if you just look up a few things of the things that he's done to his ex and his uh current baby's mother um he is like a child i wonder if he's on the spectrum but honestly he has no control over his emotion he acts like a child he doesn't act like a grown-up adult male who have figured things out for themselves and people look at him because he has money and they applaud him for having money anybody can be a trickster anybody can come up on an opportunity or a situation you don't have to have talent you don't have to have business sense you just have to be the scammers have came up on millions of dollars. So people look at him and say, oh, he's a brilliant businessman. He's this, he's that. They use that to cover up his degenerate deviant behavior. So in one article, it talks about how he was very disrespectful to his alleged exes, Vivica Fox and Sierra, his baby's mother. Shaniqua, her house burned down to the ground. And the second baby mother, you know, he kicked her and tore up her condo. Because that's the kind of man every woman dreams of, right? There was some text messages saying that 50 disowned his son. I don't have a son anymore. I will have nothing to do with you. Don't text me ever again. I need a blood test because that D sucking B you call a mom was effing the whole time and he didn't spell whole right. But besides that, this is what he said to his son. Like, who does that? Like, this is the woman who gave birth to him. Wait, did you think that he was going to turn his back on her? And they expect loyalty, even though you are absentee or you're a stranger or you have no type of relationship with them, even if they're around. Now, the whole conversation was 50. Hey, I'm outside at the door. I came to the front door, then lights went off. His son, you lying, you outside, lol, you front. 50, I saw you looking out the window, good luck in life, you gonna need it. His son, lol, you front hard body now, how you gonna, going to see me when I'm in the basement? 50 Cent said to his son, F you, you are your mother's child. His son said, LOL, why would you lie about that? 50 said, I need a blood test because that D-sucking B you call mom was effing the whole time. I don't think you're funny at all. 
I drove out here for nothing. His son. Pops, you're tripping now. Why you won't be getting one? You had 16 years. I know you lying because you didn't even call me to go outside. 50, are you effing crazy? I don't have time to play, boy. I told you I would come see you. I came in effort, start turning lights out and looking through blinds. Are you crazy? You had me drive over here. Why would you think I need an address-ish head? I saw the lights go out, then someone playing in the blinds. There's no party going on if you to. Wrong to. You, your mother, and your sister, F all y'all. His son. I might be dumb. Come through then. No need to get upset. Stop by and say hello to your son. 50. What the F are you talking about? I'm not effing with you after this. I'm leaving Atlanta in the morning. His son, so come through. 50. F you. No need for all that. His son said. 50. You are big enough to know better, so stop effing texting me. His son, I. 50, tell your mother she won. She has you, and I'll make another. I will have nothing to do with you. Don't text me ever again. His son, you keep texting me. 50, it's cool. I will never go out my way again, you disrespectful little mf'er. My, his son... LOL, you never do. I don't know. Not that doesn't even call their son for his. Oh, I get him a gift for his birthday or for Christmas. 50, you are your mother's son. I don't have a son anymore. F you, all you want is a gift like your mother and your ungrateful sister. Delete my number. You never call what the F I'm supposed to call you to give you something. Sorry. Who that was 50 to his own son. His son. Well, if you feel that way, I don't. About no gift. It's the thought and meaning the most. Remember, this money ain't everything. I'm tired of calling you. Why don't you call me? And please can't wait to hear this excuse 50 good luck with your life man I tried to come talk to you you didn't have me come all this way out here if you didn't want to see me you little a-hole I don't have to make an excuse for anything I'm a grown a man you talking about money ain't everything you're right but when you don't have you're gonna understand why I work so hard. I'm done texting you. Delete my number, Marquise. Thank you, and you know dang well you ain't come out here to see if that's what you want to stick them. I'm sorry, and I know you work hard. Okay, God bless. Are you effing stupid? That was the most degenerate conversation that I have ever heard in my life. This man is basically putting everything on his son. He basically wanted his son to give his mother the middle finger as he talks about his mother, talks about his sister, talks about him in the way that he does and he behaves as he does. The Boy's mother doesn't have to show him anything or doesn't have to talk bad about 50 Cent. 50 Cent is proving himself by his actions and the words that he says. I believe his son, when he said he wasn't calling him, he didn't call for his birthday. You know, he was out there doing him um, he had no relationship. He didn't have time for him. And people will say he was out there on the grind. I don't want to hear that 
bullshit. You're going to have these kids and then you're going to complain to them, well, I can't be an effective parent for you because I have to get out here and I have to grind and I have to do it. They didn't ask to be here. It's on you now. And basically it was on his mother with $6,700 and people are acting like that's a, a lot of money. Not when you factor in that it cost a quarter of a million to raise a child. That's one. Two, if you were a really good parent and you had the funds, you would spare no expense for your child. This is something that I have noticed. And I'm talking about specifically our community, the stark difference in what other people do for their children and how we treat our children. No, no wonder people can leap over us like the Hispanic demographic. It's noticeable what's going on, what is happening. I mean, it, it's shameful. It's embarrassing. And now you have a man who has millions and millions of dollars. And because he is emotionally unmature and he can't be the adult and he couldn't step up and be a father, he basically is allowing his son to twist in the wind. That I mean, this is the MO of an abandoning father. No calls on the birthday. Oh, I promise to pick you up and don't pick you up promise to spend time with you you want to go and do something for school they don't show up I've had the experience many people have had the experience that's why I said I don't give a damn about the money that he has and has earned I don't care his character is deplorable no different than this fool right here Shit with the brother the good brother 50 cent and his son, this shit is not cool. It's and, and you know it's been going on for quite some time since the kid was like 10 years old. This is some shit that shows what a bitch made motherfucker is like. You don't disrespect your father publicly about no money. I ain't the first time. I see I ain't up on a lot of it. I look past it. But now it's to the point where they got some money on the ground. Is that real? They say, I forgot what it said. Yeah. It's entitled. 3, entitled. You know, man, you, that is your father. How old is that boy? He's 25. Yeah. That's why I was like, why, are, why, are, why is everybody still talking about this? Because he was getting $6,700 yeah, $6, a month. That's $6, over $80,000 a year, right? That's Young man, ridiculous. that is That's your crazy. father. He and he said he'll pay him sixty seven hundred to spend a day with him. Like trying, he's trying to reverse said, the whole oh. thing. The kid, That's what he he's said trying on to make the caption. He said, "I I I'll pay you sixty seven hundred dollars to spend a day with me." I'm so glad you said that, Marcus, because I'm finna say some shit that's about to be all over the internet. I already know it. I already know it, but it's the motherfucking truth, and motherfuckers can act like it ain't the truth, but this is the motherfucking truth. Give me that one more time. What did he say he'll do? He said he'll spend his, he'll give him six seven hundred dollars to spend a day with it. This is the son talking to the father. Yeah. Like he, well, basically the public, because he's trying to put that out there on the internet. He put it out there. That's the one where he said it. Yeah. Listen to me, um, America, America. Please believe me when I tell you this. This is not all men. But I would say it's about 80% of men. If we don't love your mother, we don't really love you, motherfucker. Oh, come Damn. on now. That sounds crazy to D. It, well, no. Oh, to me too, on. here. I mean, Let me <laughs> tell you something. Ha not, not love in that sense, but have some kind Shit. of love. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Darlene, you and all the rest of the people who not used to this shit. Oh, if bro. we don't love your mother, mm. our love for you is hard to, to, to we, we are, we, we love you out of obligation. If it was my, if, oh, that's how I, you feel. I think to me, about your to me, that goes sad. for like stepkid, but not my real. Look at D, not D, rubbing no. it on me. Well, it, but it is a case like that. 
Let me tell you, if, I, a lot if of we don't like love that. your mother, we don't love you like that. Oh, what we do, terrible. we try to be moral and humane to you little stray fucks that she oh, kept. That's so sad. Is your mama going to tell you about how many... Boy, you made it out that motherfucking Freddy Krueger boiler room of a womb with your mama. Your mama killed so many of your little brothers and sisters fucking with me. Mm. She finally had you, and now I'm supposed to stop everything I'm doing in life mm. for your little ass. Get the fuck out of here. Go over there with your mama, and when you grow up, let's try to build a friendship. Maybe those children that didn't have a relationship with the dad, with both parents, sure. I can sure, understand that maybe. we still kids, Cole. But if they were together, Man, if they were a family. My that's... blood. Then make other little niggas and bitches. We don't hate you. But if we don't love your mother, we are trying to accept you. Oh, that's just Nobody crazy. says that. Mm -mm. I'm not saying this for every man. You, I'm okay. saying for 80% of the situation. men. Now, Darlene, we know why you feel like you feel. No, because that's ridiculous. Because I don't see that coming from my situation, and and we don't get along, or we didn't, we broke up. What did but that they, man say? They Go had down an one. excellent relationship, but they it's had a, it from the beginning. Hold on, it say, hold on, you passed it. Just let it go, let it go, go up. Let me see. It say kids are made over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait a minute. I'll, Wait a minute, what did it say? Mar Marcus, get Marcus got Chad. <laughs> they say you had Oh, that. you birthed Chad? Uh-oh, the kid. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, she turned his son against him. That's obvious when a, when a, when a young man is talking bad about his father. It's, it's bitch raisedness, but I'm saying like, we gotta stop acting like the men in the hood are the bad guys. Your mother, you are here because your mother's health was in jeopardy if she aborted another one. Mm. That's why you're here. If your mother would have aborted you, oh my God. The doctor was like, are you sure you want to do it again, bitch? God damn. <laughs> I wanted to play that flaming pal of shit. I'm going to blame the woman. I'm going to blame the mother. Even though, like I said, they had a relationship. We don't know if abuse was involved. There has been claims of abuse. We don't know what this woman went through. People always have something to say about how a woman acts, but nobody asks her what got her to that point. She just needs to control herself, except the bits of bullshit that she trusted someone intimately, not get emotional, not get mad, or anything they're saying oh the mother is the reason why he feels that way bullshit and they will forever blame a woman for how their children feel about them uh, personally me like I said I grew up in a single parent home with my mother uh, my father lived across from us and he didn't he was emotionally unavailable he could have engaged with us he didn't that man is a stranger um, he died and he was a stranger to me. My mother did not say one bad thing about him. Not one. She, she wouldn't do it for the life of her. My negative image came from what he did and the lack of being a father or being there when I needed him um, in situations where we didn't have food for a month. And when I tell you we didn't have anything, I'm talking about nothing. If it hadn't been for that pear tree and that berry tree in the back, we'd have nothing. To the point that I was so hungry and I was so sick. And I remember this as a child that I threw up and I said my stomach hurt. And the teacher called some type of program so they could bring food to our house because she was doing the best that she can could with what. She and um, people want to talk about a sixty-seven hundred dollars. Like I said, um, don't invest in your children. You don't give a fuck about their life. You don't give a fuck about them. It's all about you. It's all about your cars and your jewelry. You would pay a sex worker to screw on you 
probably a hundred thousand dollars but you're giving the middle finger to your son because he doesn't side with you you want him to be your friend and side with you how small and petty this was sick and what he said is absolutely true and i believe every word that came out of his degenerate mouth they don't first of all they don't know what the fuck love is let's get that straight and then if we don't love your mother we don't love you and they especially do not love anybody who has the skin tone and phenotype that they do that's why he cares more about his biracial children than actually his black children dudes are moving real sleazy out here and you know how they say women, uh, especially black women, are not submissive. I believe everything. I submit to everything this degenerate said. I believe it. So if I believe that, what is the use in having a child? Period. They don't deserve children. They don't deserve legacy. They don't like them. They don't care about them. They don't marry women. I can't think of the last time that I have been invited to a wedding. They used to come frequently, but right now I don't remember the last time I've been invited to one. So this is going on in real life. This is not just social media. This is not just celebrities. You see, no matter how much money, it cannot refine them. It cannot change this. Playing these games, thinking that, oh, you're different. You can change him. That is some silly ass shit that's been done. Before, for someone to feel comfortable enough to say out their mouth, even if they thought in the back of their head, I don't love you. I just want to screw on you. And then if a child comes to this, if that little piece of ish, that little, that's how they feel about the kids. But so the next time somebody's yelling about abortion, you can tell them to go suck a dick because Honestly, they don't care. And then the Asian woman, I don't know what the fuck she's up here for talking about this situation. She doesn't know anything about this within our culture. And she's trying to make excuses for 50 cents. They're going to bend the knee because of his money. It's, it's disgusting. You sleep at night saying something like this. And people are going to say, oh, he's a comedian. I don't know him as a comedian. And this is not funny to say out here. You're having game ran on you you're being exploited and used you're being abused and you're having your wombs exploited like I said I knew it I said in a video with Nick Cannon there is something off about all of these children being born out of wedlock and not in a healthy family unit and I feel like it was being done on purpose this is my confirmation that all of my thoughts were true um, most of them are trash and it will be the coldest day in hell that I would ever allow any one of them, those types. And they're everywhere in my womb, but I'll go ahead and leave it right here. Let me know what you think about his son, all the names he called his son, but he expected loyalty. Then you have his followers attacking him like these are supposed to be men and then think that I'm gonna have some type of fucking sympathy when some shit happens I don't I have absolutely no fucking sympathy I can't I can't muster up not one drop but I'll go ahead and leave it right here let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next one oh, 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 oh.